What is going on YouTube and welcome back to a uh, new series on the channel, Cup of Code 01. Uh, this is kicking off, today's video is video number one in a series, uh, it's going to be called 100 Days to Master Python. Um, and each day there's going to be a series of tasks, so it's not so much instruction, it's still going to be code, line by line, explanation, debugging, watching exactly what's doing what within the code, um, but it's going to be way more of uh, uh, skill building and it's going to range all over Python. Um, in addition to that, we have another series coming out called the Definitive Guide to Pandas. So Python with Pandas, which is essential uh, for data science and a number of other applications of utilizing Python. So um, let's get to it. Today's video, this video is going to have essentially one example, um, but you're going to find that as the days go on, I think it's when we get down to like day six or seven, that the number of exercises that we do within the code is going to expand. It's going to increase uh, a lot. We're going to get to the point where each day is going to have about 50 to 60 or so lines of code within the within the program, um, and it's all for practice. So it's go through the video, write the code yourself, take it, break it, play with it, and then do it again and do it again. And then when day two comes, take day two, do day two, and then go back and do number one again. Um, I don't care if you're sitting there with your laptop while you're watching television. Uh, keep doing it. Just keep doing it. It's, it's, it's very important that you keep this going. You'll build the muscle memory uh, in terms of the neural networks and so forth. In addition, um, very excited. We can start with uh, TensorFlow soon. I got my GPU back. So I had bought um, in April when the 2017 Titan um, Big X, little no, regular X, little P came out in 2017. I was able to grab that and um, I had sent it over to Steve at Gamers Nexus who were sporting, were sporting his shirt today. Uh, thank you, Steve, and the guys over at Gamers Nexus. Um, he had taken the Titan XP, taken it apart, and put on a, um, essentially an AIO water cooler, uh, because that thing was, when I ran that thing stock, I mean, you're hitting 70C easy under, under minimal loads, and um, when you wanted to bring the temperature down with the stock fans, you could, but it sounded like a damn uh, spaceship going off. So as you can see now, with just, um, I mean, we're not doing anything fancy yet, but with 16% load, 14 on the on the GPU, we're only hitting 30C. And when I run this thing under uh, 60, 70% load, when I'm doing particular CNNs, um, and then even gaming, uh, where we I haven't peaked over, I haven't hit over 44 degrees Celsius yet. And this is with the fan on at 40%, I believe, 40, 40, 45% with the uh, AIO. So big thank you to Steve and the guys and gals over at Gamers Nexus. So uh, without further ado, let's get to today's code piece. So the first uh, example for 100 days to master Python, um, we're being asked to find all the numbers divisible by seven, but not a multiple of five. And it's between the numbers 2000 and 3200. Um, and the solution, we want it to be a comma separated uh, solution on a single line. So to start off, we're going to create a variable, and inside that variable, we have an empty list. So of course, good old f 8 through this. Oh, excuse me. Run, run debug. Want my console. So uh, you can see the Python has created a, a variable called empty list in memory, uh, and it's even telling me that it's a class list, which is appropriate because we have open brackets. Um, and now what we're going to begin, begin to do is create the actual coding. So it says 4i in range 2032.01. So what that is telling the uh, system is that an i could be anything. You're going to see as we do other lessons, I make i ridiculous names just to bring home the point that i is irrelevant, but it is going to go index through whatever that list is or dictionary or, or data source. Um, so for i in that range, so i right now is 2,000 because that's our starting value. Again, the first number is including and it goes up to excluding the last number in the range. Uh, indentation if i modulus 7 is equal to 0. So again, we have the equal equal because that means equal in Python. If it was only one equal, that would have been an assignment and that would have been wrong. We've got an error. So i modulus 7 equals 0 is simply just asking if I take that number right now, which is 2,000, divided by 7, do I have zero as the remainder of that division? So if that's true, and if i modulo five does not equal zero, so exclamation equal means does not equal. And that's how we're getting not a multiple of five. Because if I take, say, for example, 35, and if I do 35 divided by seven, 
I'm going to get 5. Point zero. There is no remainder. So that would that would be true for i modulo 7. And then for i modulo 5, if that was 35, 35 divided by 5 is going to be 7. So again, the remainder would equal 0. So that would have held um, that would have held true if it was a multiple of 5 and divisible by 7. So 35 would have held true. Uh, but for the other numbers that 5 does not equal 0 will hold false for any number that is not a multiple of 5, but it is divisible by 7 based on that code. So we're going to F8 through that. And you can see that it jumped right back up because 2000 is not going to be now. We're in 2001, and we're going to iterate through and keep going. So now you can see up in the top there we have 2002 uh, and added it to the list. I'm going to come up here and just highlight that really quick. So as you can see, we already added to the list 2002 Y. And that is simply because it met the requirements. It was a number that was uh, modulo 7 equals 0 and modulo 5 does not equal 0. So that was the first number that was in our list. And I don't think we're going to get it again. Here's 6 until we get to 9. So 7, 8. We're just going through, the, going through the range, going through the range. 9. And then, so 9 was true. 2009 modulo 7 equals 0. That was, that was going to be true. And then... Um, Modulo 5 of 2009 does not equal 0. That was true. So then it goes down to the next line, which is empty list dot append string i. So empty list, we're just calling the empty list that we made above. Dot append is the method, meaning adding, appending the, the empty list, adding to it. And we want it to be a string. Um, and that string that I wanted to put in is the value for i at that moment. And that value happens to be 2009. So you'll see when I F8 through this line up here next to 2002, we're going to now have 2009 because both of those met the criteria of being true within our for loop. 11, 12. Now I'm not going to sit here. So we got 2016. I'm not going to sit here and go to 3201. That that's that's going to be crazy. So let's go to um, let me go to uh, 2050. That's what we'll keep that as right now. And we're going to run whoops a doozy our debug. Go back to my console and let's F8. So we got our empty list again. We're 2001, 2, 3, 4. We know we're going to get 9. And we're going to be getting probably 16 and 23. 16. Going through the left, 23. Now we're getting closer to 50. Going through each number one by one. The computer's iterating through that, through that list. And it's going to keep going until we get to 2049 because that's going to satisfy our range. 48. Now it's checking for 49. And now it jumps down to the next executable point because we're not going to go past 2049 because the range only goes to 2050 and it is inclusive beginning exclusive of the last digit. And then we just have the bottom here print and we're telling it how we want it to print. So we're putting a comma in quotes dot join. Join is the method and we're joining all of the values that have been put into the empty list. Uh, so that's going to put everything in a straight line. So when I F8 through that, you can see here on the right hand side, it put out our list of our values. 2002, 2009, 2016. So these are the values that within that range met the criteria of if you take any of these numbers in modulo 7, you're going to get a clean division, no remainder. And if you take those numbers modulo 5, you will not get a zero. You will not have a, a clean division. You will have a remainder. Um, and then, of course, we empty list dot appended into that string. And that would have been it for that. So just for fun, we will run them on number one. Yep. So of course, when I execute the code, same exact output, which you would think you'd get, right? Um, so again, play with it, mess with it, break it, try changing your values. Don't go too nuts. You saw with my first range of 3,200. Uh, that would have taken uh, quite a bit of time just by debugging, going, going, f ing through everything. But if we were running it through, I mean, computers are computers. Hell, let's make it 5,000. And you run it. We're going to get a new list. Everything on a straight line again, um, with a lot of more numbers. All right, cool. So for uh, video one of 100 days uh, to mastering Python, um, I think that we'll call that one a day and uh, hit it. Get kicking with your Python. Take it easy, guys.